Hi, Cancer. I hope you're doing well. Um, you know, I I don't know if I'm picking up on your energy or not. I just started to feel this like really restless, like nervous energy in my stomach, like um, like frustration but excitement. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't even know what this energy is right now. Let me just see. What energy is Cancer embodying right now? What energy is Cancer embodying right now? Cancer. What energy are they embodying? I had such a weird day, you guys. I don't even think I should. It's just ridiculous. What energy is Cancer embodying? Hmm. The Page of Pentacles. So maybe studying up on something, maybe you're reading into something, feeling a little bit mischievous. Hmm. Some kind of a new opportunity that you're working on. That's the energy that's here. Wow. Maybe it's helping you get away from some regretful energy. You could be reviewing some things about the past and Maybe thinking about how you could have done things differently or, oh, you know, I'm hearing that song, You Remind Me by Usher, where so maybe you come across someone who in a lot of ways reminds you of someone that you used to, to um, be with. And maybe it's making you think about things that could have gone differently, but I don't think you're sulking or anything. It's just something you're thinking about. And for some of you, this could just be some kind of a new area of study or something new. Maybe you found something to read or write about or something that's piqued your interest. Let's beneath this five of cups. Yeah, I feel like it's just, you're going over some things, thinking some things through, but I feel an optimism. I don't really feel regret, so it's like maybe turning the page, no pun intended. Maybe some of you are literary, maybe you're writers, or you're thinking about somebody who's literary. Um, turning the page on, on the past and really excited about something else. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> this is difficult, Cancer. It's like a, oh, I'm hearing foreigner. I'm hearing foreigner. Somebody might have stirred your emotions. Um, what does the tarot have for cancer right now? I feel so weird. It's like a butterfly. Um, <laughs> excuse me, cancer. This is strange. What does the tarot have for cancer right now? Whoa. This could be your energy or maybe somebody sees you and they see you as like really attractive. Maybe they're not telling you that. And maybe this is difficult for them for some reason. Or you might see someone and you just think, well, no, that's just not even gonna happen. How much would I have to get through to even deal with that person on a personal level? like? What would I have to go through to even be in their presence? Oh, maybe that's what this Five of Cups is. A fantasy, and you might think it's a fantasy. Or someone thinks you're a fantasy, like they can never really attain. Let's see, we got two more cards that need to come out. Hey man, and the seven of cups, thinking about what to do. Hmm, trying to figure out some things. Whoa, Scorpio energy with the tower overall. Now why is this tower here? You could be dealing with a Scorpio. I just, 
I just heard October. Hmm. Maybe somebody has to wait until Scorpio season before they could come to you for some reason. One of the signs had in that kind of energy yesterday to like a waiting period or like a, a difficulty. I feel like an anxious energy, but it's like positive anxiety, like um, hope, like this feeling of um, impossible, but happy, like somebody's happy just to maybe see you or know you exist. <laughs> Um, like they admire you. Here, starting out, we have the Knight of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups. So something has sparked passion. Something that sparked your interest or somebody could be looking at you and wanting to get to know you. Um, yeah, maybe wanting to send you some kind of a communication. I'm drawn to the letter that's on this card. They may want to write you. Somebody may want to send you a letter. I almost feel like somebody is stuck and they want to reach out to you, but they don't feel like they can. Like it would be too much of a fight. Because the Five of Wands is what's crossing this Knight of Cups here. We're going to clarify and see what this conflict is. And whatever it is, it has the current focus being regret. I just heard coulda, woulda, shoulda. Hmm. But I'm not really getting much else. Advice here, number 12, the hangman. I'm hearing Redbone by Childish Cambino. <laughs> that's so random. Maybe that's significant for someone. Stay woke, stay woke. Don't you close your eyes. So maybe there's something um, like an energy of this person thing and they can't trust the situation or they're confused about why they feel this way. Like, I want this, but why? This does not make sense. Like somebody is trying to calculate something. Like this does not make sense. <laughs> I just heard someone like this reading does not make sense. <laughs> hey, I'm right there with you. The energy feels weird right now. I'm not going to lie. The outcome is the seven of cups. I feel with the seven of cups right here, it's like making the decision. Someone's trying to decide if it's the right thing to do to come forward. Even though I don't see a two of cups, they're just trying to, like I'm getting a feeling of somebody weighing their options and seeing, is it worth it? What's beneath this tower? Mm -hmm. Is it worth it to come forward? There is your energy there, the willpower and determination, Cancer. And then we have the Knight of Swords with the two of wands wow i'm getting something i'm hearing avril lavigne so much for my happy ending it's like wow it's like somebody might see you cancer or vice versa and it's like they want to fall in love with you or they see you and feel so passionate, but something about you reminds them of a, of a painful situation or it's making them kind of grieve something that they thought was right for them before that's no longer right. Like turning the page on this regretful energy, but having to grieve it like, man, I wanted this person to be my happily for, you know, my happily ever after. I almost said happily forever. Um, but they weren't. We you know it was meant to be supposed to be, but we lost it. Maybe that was with some kind of an October, November person, Scorpio energy, heavily. And they see you and they're like, wow, could this be? This is like somebody who I never would have expected. It's 
So it's a conflicting energy for sure, and that's what's blocking this Knight of Cups. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So even if they're not physically dealing with this person, there may be some communication, Eight of Wands. So they may reach out to you for sure. Or you may decide to reach out, Cancer, but um, it's like this other person maybe that they had hoped would be like their forever or their long term is still in their heart, still in their mind. It's like they're still kind of grieving that situation, even if the person isn't dealing with them romantically. And so it's like something about you has triggered this within this person, seeing you or learning about you. It's like they're amused by you and they really like you, but it's, um, it's kind of like opening up a wound that they might need to still heal. What do we have here? Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, the Wheel, Eight of Pentacles, and the Hermit. Yeah, they might choose to remain independent for a while and focus on their work, even though they they feel like this is turning a page for them in terms of opening up their heart to something new. But it's making them realize, like, oh my gosh. Like, it's, you know, somebody's having to face themselves because of you. It's like seeing you has triggered a healing in them. But it's like they're in the painful part at this time with this Five of Wands. But I think it's going to cause them to self-reflect and, and maybe review what happened in the past. And we saw that hangman. Yeah, awakening beneath the Five of Cups. So it's going to maybe trigger this person to do some healing that they were putting on, on hold. That they should have been doing anyway and didn't quite do. They might have gone into like an airplane mode or a coastal mode and, and just kind of focused on work. Or focused on other things and ignored Maybe the pain they were feeling or ignored grieving the loss that they went through with this relationship or situationship, whatever it was. And so you triggered that. And it almost um, is kind of beautiful because that can be like a healing, even though it sucks that you're reminding them of this person. They needed to go through this. They needed to go through this healing process that they're about to face now. And, and then it may be a long time, it may not be, it may take them until the fall, um, because now they're just starting to, to realize like, oh, I never really healed from that relationship. I never really processed it, that this is really done, or that's really a part of my past, and what I thought was forever is not. And there is a possibility that there's somebody else that could, could be good for me. It's like they're having to go through that now Let's just see. What is this Knight of Cups here for Cancer? I'm hearing, do you believe in love? So this person maybe had, for, had forgotten or, or given up on love altogether. Let's see. Mm hmm. It's like you've awakened a part of them that they forgot was there. The Eight of Cups and the Sun card. Yeah. There's been like a desire that is, is inside them now that it's been like triggered. <laughs> I just got the image of that. There's some meme where this lady and it just says triggered and she looks absolutely um, Mortified, like she's about to go off on someone and you can see all the veins in her neck because she's so upset about something But it's like you triggered that in this person like wait a minute So they might have their guard up or their defenses up like that's ridiculous. No Like almost a denial and something about you is is different um, than what they're used to What about this five of wands? Maybe your outer shell is different than what they're used to What about this five of wands? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, for sure. I'm hearing, um, yeah, he's being like, or she, he or she is being like haunted 
<laughs> but I'm hearing Kanye West. Somebody might really like Kanye. Of course, a lot of people like Kanye. Who, who am I kidding? Um, what song is it? Paranoid. Paranoid by Kanye West. And it's the part where he says, anyway, they don't know you like I do. They'll never know you. So it's like the ghost of a past relationship that this person has been kind of carrying with them. That's what I'm feeling. And so now they have to kind of fight through that and heal through it. It's gonna, it's gonna take some work. Yeah, five, five. Five of swords here, clarifying the five of wands and three of swords. But you know, five and three is eight and we have the eight of cups here under the knight of cups. So sim something about you has triggered that in this person to finally walk away from that toxic attachment to a past relationship that is no more. What is this five of cups? It's a lot of cards. <laughs> we have King of Pentacles, the Justice, the Hangman, all Major Arcana. I know this is the Magician, I'm sorry. But then the mage, the Eight of Swords. The Justice and the Magician, the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords are not Major Arcana. So what I'm feeling is this person, they don't like how much they gave in the past. I feel like they thought they manifested something like real in the past. This must, it doesn't have to be, but it might be somebody who is somebody who manifests or they tend to get what they want. Like um, if they put their focus on something, we saw the Knight of Swords earlier. It's like they put their focus on something, it does manifest for them. And maybe they were just so sure. And I think that's what they're having trouble with. Like, no, they were for sure. If something was gonna work, it was this last person or something was going to work, it was this person from the past, this ghost, who I feel like they made it, compared everyone else to. And now something about you or something about someone for you, Cancer, has triggered an acceptance that that person might not be the best or, and, and maybe there's something else. I'm actually like imagining someone who is excited and they haven't been excited about anyone in a long time like excited about the prospect of getting to know someone whereas before it seems like they just were i'm just i'm hearing warm body like people are just warm bodies so just somebody to lay next to somebody to like almost zombified like oh you're just another person nothing exciting i'm just kind of here Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> My chance for love is past, so what do you want? I feel like now they're feeling it's possible. What about this hangman as the advice? I think this is the advice to heal, to reflect on the situation. Oh my goodness, I'm hearing Love Takes Time by Mariah Carey. <laughs> um... Knight of Pentacles and the King of Cups, Cancer Energy. There you are, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So yeah, love takes time, Knight of Pentacles, that's funny. My, my, my spirit guides have jokes apparently, but it does take time. So with the hangman being clarified by the King of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like this is just um, a bit of a journey for this person and they're gonna have to um, to go through it. To face it and I think they're gonna do a good job because they're putting in the work like it's something that they I feel like this person is a sincere person so now that they have this goal of healing they're going to see it through it's what they want now because I don't think they want to be stuck on this past person anymore and the regret that they did feel and now they want to be able to give to something else So they're trying to close up those wounds to, to really heal once and for all. Anything else for the hangman and knight of pentacles? Yeah, to have a new beginning. So this outcome, seven of cups before I get into the oracles.
Seven of Wands and Four of Cups. Hmm. They really might take time to process this alone. Like they might really take time. Some of them might be trying to manifest through this situation, manifest healing, which is cool with the seven of wands. I'm kind of feeling that energy. Stars are really sticking out in this um, sphere that's right there that this woman is sitting in, like meditation. Um, shadow work to try to get the right, uh, just her get the right answers. <laughs> so this is somebody who, I feel like they're spiritual and I feel like they do, even if they don't, it, I don't know why I feel the need to say, even if they don't admit it, they're a spiritual person. And so they're gonna try to use this as a way to heal and come out of this energy. Um, maybe so they don't miss any more opportunities, but we have the two of swords here at the bottom. So it's like they have to decide to really push through the situation and and move on because i think they've been focusing on the, that past situation as a missed opportunity and maybe that they fumbled it fumbled it in some way i just heard fumbled the bag or something um so maybe they thought that the last relationship didn't go well because of them and i feel like that's somewhat true i do i feel like it's somewhat because of them but i feel like the other person from the energy i'm feeling here wasn't the right person for them anyway or they they weren't the person that wanted to stick it out with them for the long haul so yeah mm -hmm. they weren't the person that really wanted to be with this person and i just heard for a good time not a long time so somebody you know that's what it is i don't want to analyze that too much because i'm that's all i'm getting but i think it's time for this person to really go within and do the healing and I hope they can really face that. There's two, 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 two on the clock. I think that's it from the tarot for this reading. Yeah, confirmation. It's gonna be a matter of really facing it and then being able to go forward. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's see the oracles. What do you have for my cancers? Casket, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Yeah, it's time for it, it's time for it to go. A goal-oriented person yeah this is someone who is like I'm feeling almost a Sagittarius energy somebody who knows what they want and they kind of aim for it and they go after it maybe this person was dealing with a Sagittarius in the past um, or it could be anything this could just be the energy that they're gonna need to, to pull through um, to make it happen <laughs> lots of Mariah Carey energy coming into this reading Whoa, dog far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. So there may be some friends that can help this person through the situation if they wanna to talk to them, or this could be someone at a distance this person has seen that's reminding them. And here we have fair woman. Dealings or relationships with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. So this could ring a bell for someone. And then we have happiness reversed. Yeah, so this situation could have been unhappy. For a time, I just heard. It was unhappy for a time. And then shield, you need to defend yourself. So this might have been a situation because we do have the seven of wands here. It could have been a situation where you had to, maybe you felt like nothing you did was right or vice versa in the past and it's just kind of turned you off to new connections or turned this person off. Or in this situation, defending yourself is also kind of making the best choices for your future self. So it's like, how do you want to spend the rest of your life? Do you want to give up on new opportunities? Do you want a new beginning? Are you going to start? Or are you going to be defeated? Seven of Wands energy is about 
standing up for yourself. Nine of Wands energy is Wounded Warrior, but it's also protecting what you've created. And so that can mean a number of things. If you created peace of mind, how do you maintain it, you know? And we got Rooster here. Arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Interesting. And then key at the bottom, a successful outcome to your problems. So yeah, something about this past situation was difficult or turn this person off from dealing with anyone new. And I think that's coming to a close. Maybe this person wants to resurface now too. It might trigger like this person finally moving on might cause a shift in energy and that person from the past might even feel it and be like, oh, I need to fuck with this person now because I feel them moving on. Let me just text them really quick or push their buttons. It could be somebody that knows how to push your buttons um, from the past because you're ready to move forward. It's funny how that happens. Anything else from the oracles? You're protected. Protection from a powerful friend. So yeah, I feel like there's going to be somebody that stands up for you or your own higher consciousness is going to steer you away from these potential bad decisions. If there's somebody kind of rearing their head from the past when you're ready to move forward. And yeah, their wish will not be granted if somebody's trying to slight you. So I feel like I just heard never fear. Don't worry about that. Yeah, don't worry about that. I think it's time for healing and to move forward. Yeah, temporary problems. So this could cause some delay with the hangman. But the hangman is also voluntary delay. So this person might want to approach you. Or you may want to approach someone. Take it how it resonates for you, Cancer. But it's like there is a time needed for some kind of recuperation before you go forward fully into this new situation. But what feels really beautiful is that there's some kind of new energy here that's stirring up potential. Potential, that's what it feels like. The potential for something really beautiful to come into your life again. So with that, I'm gonna close this out. It's a little bit longer than I anticipated. We're 27 minutes, but it's all good. Until next week, Cancer, I'll affirm for you and for me that all is well. And I'll see you soon, bye. Thank you.